I'm new. I'm here with Kenny, Belle, and Chloe. And we've got another fun camping skill for you. Now this one is called a figure eight knot. And as you can see, it kind of looks like a figure eight there. And this kind of figure eight knot is when we need a stopper on the end of our rope. Now we can use an overhand knot as a stop on our rope, but sometimes that will actually slide. So we're gonna use our figure eight knot and we're worrying about knots right now because we're getting ready to go spring camping. Yay! So we're making sure we're ready for what we're gonna see and deal with, yeah. So our figure eight knot, as we said, it's a great stopper knot. So campers, would you like me to show you how to tie your knot? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Now for this rope here, you can see that I actually, sometimes you'll see the ropes. We have the one in colored. Let me borrow Kitty's rope right yeah. here. Um, you can see that hers is colored on one end with a permanent marker. And of course, get your caregiver's permission before you do any of this. And this end is not. So this may matter with some knots. This knot really doesn't matter because we're just going to focus on one end of our rope. We don't need both ends, just our one end. So we're gonna tie this knot flat because it makes it a little bit easier when we're learning. Later we can figure out how to, once you get good at it, you can tie it up in the air, but we're gonna do it flat. So here's our flat. We're gonna take our loose end that we want our stopper knot on, our figure eight stopper knot, and we're gonna fold it over. So now it looks like this, so going this way. Now we're going to pick up our rope and slide our loose end underneath. So now we have ourselves a little fishy. I'll hold that up. You can see that our loose end is on the bottom. Okay. So we've got our little fishy. So we take our loose end over top of our other end and we'll pick up our fishy and bring it up from the bottom. So you see that cross back under. You can see there that figure eight starting to form. And then we pull like that and slide it where we want to slide it. This knot works great. If this end didn't, wasn't melted, we could use this knot here to keep our rope from fraying. It's another great way to use this knot. So there is our knot. Now real quick, when we have our fishy, if we bring it, fold it back over here, like that, that is our overhand knot, which is why we have to bring it over and back under. So it's almost like, you can also see almost like a pretzel there, but you can see your eight, right there is your eight. So again, make sure when you slide under, you bring it over and not straight in, but under our loop and pull like that. Campers, are you ready to tie your knot? Yeah! Awesome. <laughs> and we're finished. Yep, there's our she yes, Chloe's mine. knot. I did too. Yep, Chloe did too. There you can see our figure eight knot. As we said, this works as a great stopper knot. Now, if this is a little tricky, make sure you're going the under, the over, and make sure you're coming from the right end because I know the first time I started trying to tie this knot, I tied a whole lot of overhand knots first. So, we had a little trouble getting started, but at this point, I think we've got it. Later on, we'll show you how to do this with a loop, and we'll have a stopper knot, and we'll have the figure eight loop version on our knot too. So. We hope that you had fun and we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.